Hello! In the last video, Ms. Coffee Bean presented a couple of definitions of multimodal machine learning. Even came up with a definition of her own. There we learned how images are one modality and language is another modality. So we will spend this in the next video to talk about how neural networks have problems combining vision and language. Problems? What are you talking about? <laughs> Deep learning has had a lot of success over the last years. Take for example the case of visual question and answering or short VQA. Deep neural networks have no problems to answer questions related to images and even show us what they are looking at while giving the answer. Or do they? One more example on visual dialogue, where neural systems deliver the state of the art in chatting with the user about an image. The Visual Dialogue Challenge website even comes with a visual chatbot demo. We have to try it out. We upload our favorite image and we see that the model thinks it is a close-up of a mouse and a mouse? What is the mouse doing? I can't tell. Why is the mouse running? I don't know. Is this really a mouse? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You are wrong. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's try with another image where I think that the model will recognize something. Yes, it's a woman standing in front of a red building. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the red building? I can't tell. What can you tell? I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. No. Where is the woman? On a sidewalk, I can agree to that. Right, is the building beautiful? No. Do you know what beautiful means? No. <laughs> okay, bye. Seeing the success stories being reported in papers, <coughs> papers tell only success stories. Nobody reports about failed experiments. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's coffee bean, don't interrupt. So I was saying, after reading about all these success stories, I got a little suspicious and hired a world-class detective, Miss Coffee Bean, to conduct a private investigation. She could go and find out what is really going behind the multimodal scenes of vision and language. We now switch to her. Miss Coffee Bean, where do vision and language models fail and why? What did you find? I have traveled the vast paper wasteland. <coughs> Why is my voice so strange? I have traveled the vast paper wasteland. And I finally found the pot full of proofs. Telling us that we should keep a critical eye pointed to multimodal systems. Let's see what I have in this pot. First on my journey I encountered the symptom of the disease. The symptom seems to show systems that tend to forget about one modality, visual or textual, and focus almost completely on the other. And this, although we are trying to solve multimodal tasks, where it is essential to combine the information from two or more modalities to gain an answer based on both, an answer that should be not possible to give when looking at only one modality. This symptom of ignoring one modality and focus on the other can be seen in a very interesting investigation of this paper. The authors take a very common multimodal architecture from 2019, where features are extracted from vision and language respectively by two different branches. Then these features representing different modalities are concatenated, further transformed by a linear layer followed by non-linear activation and ta-da! This is the multimodal representation containing information from both modalities. With this representation, further task-specific layers enable the model to predict the answer for the task, like the answer to how many cups are there in the image. And the answer would be here too. With this architecture, the authors train a well-performing VQA model on the VQA dataset. But then they want to test it, to see how well the model considers both modalities when delivering the answer. 
For this, they do crazy things with the dataset. They replace nouns in half of the image captions with other nouns so that they do not fit the picture anymore. Then they let the same learned weights from the VK task predict whether the caption does fit the image or not. For more information on this diagnostic procedure, check out our video on probing linked below. So do we expect from a model that performs well on VQA, delivering right answers to questions about the image, to recognize that the caption does not fit the image anymore? Yes, we do expect this. Only that the model does not notice the change. <laughs> For telling whether the caption fits the image or not, it performs with the same accuracy as random chance. Disappointing. And the authors do not restrict themselves to VQA, but test also the same neural architecture on other tasks like visual dialogue and phrase localization. The models trained specifically for understanding the relations between images and text are not able to tell if the captions have been altered or not. This raises serious questions like how is then the model able to perform well in VQA in the first place if it clearly does not understand the relationship between the image and the text? Another study indicating that multimodal models ignore one modality was conducted on multimodal machine translation where the model had to translate from source to target language but this time with the help of images. Only that the model performance on translating image captions did not differ convincingly when having access to the image compared to not looking at the image at all. Only when many tokens from the text were deleted and the text barely contained some information for the model to rely on, the multimodal model started to focus on the image. Of course, there's a lot to discuss here, about the task of multimodal machine translation itself, where we could argue if we delete a text, it becomes more image captioning than multimodal machine translation. Or we could even ask if multimodal machine translation is a sensible task in the first place. Why are we requiring images at all? <laughs> Regarding the latter, I will try to convince you that images are helpful, just think about cases of disambiguation, where if I tell you get in the car, it would be very helpful for me to translate this to also have a picture of an automobile or a train car. Or think about misspellings in the text and so on. So far, we have seen the symptom of the multimodal illness in vision and language. One modality, especially the visual one, is taken too little into account, even ignored. Only the textual modality seems to contribute heavily, raising serious concerns about the success of multimodal integration. Miss Coffee Bean, why is this? On my journey, I encountered two sources of all evil. But about this in the next video. See you then. Can't wait. Disclaimer. This video highlights the not so favorable aspects of integrating vision and language. For information on risk and side effects, please read your favorite publication and ask your machine learning researcher or engineer. Mm -hmm.